The government has restored or rather resorted to aerial spraying to contain and control the locust invasion in the counties of Wajir, Mandera and Marsabit. Now the effort, according to the government spokesman, Colonel retired Cyrus Oguna, began today and the aircraft will be positioned in Wajir from where all the affected counties will be sprayed. Distribution of the handheld sprayers along with protective gear have been done in the counties of Marsabit, Wajir and Isiolo. In order to contain the swarming desert locusts, which started to cross the Kenyan border from Elwak, Mandera since 28th December, leaving behind a trail of destruction, the government has employed the use of aerial spraying. The aircraft will be positioned in Wajia with a spraying capacity that reaches Mandera and Marsabit. They cover about 150 kilometers in one, in one hour, so they can move very fast. But when they are settled, because even spraying locusts is a scientific kind of procedure. So they have to settle. When they settle, then they will be spread there, and then they will be able to be contained there. So part of the mechanism that the government is putting in place to ensure that where they are, they are contained there, and they do not cross into you know, other neighboring counties. Distribution of handheld sprayers together with protective gear has been done in the three counties. The 3,000 liters of chemicals to be used have been tested and registered and authorized for the control of the locusts, with the government saying they're not harmful to humans if used according to the guidelines. County teams, we call them ground support control teams. The ground support team will also conduct surveys and guide the aerial spring teams. <coughs> Residents in Wajir, Mandera and Marsabit had resorted to noise to scare away the swarms of the crawling, stripping and devouring desert locusts with security officials using tear gas and guns. <laughs> Local leaders had accused the government of inaction and had called for immediate intervention. Na kama serikali tumeweka pesa na tumesema lazima tufanye surveillance ya kutosha kama ministry yangu agriculture. Tulituma wataalam wikibiri siliokwisha wako huko madera wako wajia na tunazunguka tu tukiangalia manake kupambana na locust lazima kwanza mfanye safe ya kutosha FAO estimates that 500,000 locusts can weigh approximately one ton, eating as much as 10 elephants or 25 camels or even 2,500 people. Mandara's six constituencies have been invaded by the insects, which have spread to Tarbaj, Wajia East and Wajia West constituencies in Wajia County. The government may also deploy unmanned aerial vehicles known as drones to collect data, high-resolution imagery of green vegetated areas potentially affected by locusts. Biological locust control measures such as the use of natural predators, such as wasps, birds and reptiles, could be used to control them. Desert locusts are not common in Kenya and can live between three to six months and up to ten months with a favorable environment. Uh, desert locusts are not a common occurrence in our country. The last time we had them cross from the neighboring countries is 2007. So normally, even when they cross, it's just what is not contained in the neighboring countries like Somalia and Ethiopia. We wish to assure the public that this is an issue that the government is fully in control of, and hence there should be no cause for worry. The situation has been contained, and all farmers and the general public to go about the nation building activities as normal. Even with the government allaying fears, residents still fear the locusts could migrate to Garissa and Tana River and cause severe food shortage. Dorcas Wangira, Citizen TV, Nairobi.